Strange things exist in this world we inhabit, things beyond our imagination that can make our imaginations run wild, things unknown to science and common folk everywhere. My name's Mondick Jacksonville, and this is Uncanny Encounters. Welcome to Uncanny Encounters. Today on this show, I'm going to talk about something that's found commonly within the woods. I'm sure most, if not all of you, have heard some sort of legend about a haunted or enchanted tree. Enchanted trees are a prominent part of folklore around the world, and this is for a good reason. Trees are natural conduits of spiritual or magical energy, especially when they're surrounded by other trees. Sometimes a tree may become possessed with natural spirits or the ghosts of dead humans. Other times a tree may absorb so much magical energy that it becomes a gateway to another place, which many creatures use to traverse dimensions. Today I want to talk about a kind of tree phenomenon that happens commonly these days. I'm sure many of you have noticed a city or town that's being developed right against some woods or other natural landscape. This is a problem for many obvious reasons, but I'm going to talk about one of the less obvious reasons here. When many humans are concentrated in one place and experience strong emotions such as stress, this emotional energy can run off into the surrounding areas. When it leaks into nature, this is called emotional pollution, and it's a serious problem. Intense concentrations of human emotion are already known to manifest as spirits, but in the woods, when it's caused by emotional pollution, it can happen in a very particular way. As the emotional runoff from cities leaks into the woods around them, it can travel many miles before it slows down to the point that it can be absorbed by trees. Once it does settle, it's often deep into the woods, and this is where the trees absorb the emotional energy through their roots. As more and more energy is absorbed, the energy contained within the trees is more likely to manifest as a tree stress spirit. These are malevolent entities, that are part of the tree, but want to break free from the tree to go out into the world in order to act out their malevolence. This is why they do the thing that they do that will allow you to identify them. So at first, these spirits will have very limited powers to do much of anything. They may be able to slowly, slightly move their tree branches, and they might be able to very slowly attract magical objects close to them, but they will do the latter of these things, especially with forest trash, as forest trash is highly absorbent of ambient magical energy in the forest. And for each piece of forest trash that these trees collect, it becomes slightly more powerful. Eventually they'll become powerful enough to break free from the tree and come out into the world. This is how you can identify them. If you ever see a tree in the middle of the woods, covered in or surrounded with trash, do not go near it. Not only is there the danger of the spirit possibly being able to break out while you're there, but you being there could provide it with an easier method of escape. Trash trees will rarely move when humans are around because they can detect when humans are around, and the part of the reason why they don't move is because they might want a human to feel safe enough to come near them and this is when they strike and prey upon humans. If you get too close to one of them, it may quickly move one of its branches to knock you out, and when it knocks you out, you are in serious danger, because this spirit wishes to take your body and your memories, and use your body as a vessel to escape into the world. Meanwhile, it'll leave your soul and consciousness trapped within the tree, Unable to break free because it has sucked all the magical energy out of the trash surrounding it. You will be trapped and confused, and you will now be yourself a spirit of the woods. This is why you must be extremely cautious if you ever see a trash tree in the woods. So, what can be done about these entities? I can't recommend anyone except for professionals try to exercise one of these spirits due to the high danger involved. But, 
I will demonstrate how I've done it in the past for educational purposes. It's a bad idea to try to remove any trash from a trash tree. Not only is getting close to it simply just too dangerous to try, but also removing a piece of trash from it could create a sudden highly noticeable change in the magical energy of the woods which other creatures can notice. Instead, I use a containment and charming spell. I find pieces of magical forest trash lying around but outside of the tree's influence, and I shout phrases that would normally relieve stress or anger in a human person into the pieces of trash. As I do so, I place the pieces of trash in a circle just outside the tree's reach. This situation will turn out to be just okay. Don't worry, I won't leave a bucket of dead fish on your doorstep this time. I'm sorry, and I apologize. This way, the tree spirit will be surrounded with contradictory emotional energy, which will weaken it, and the circle will trap the spirit within it. So even if the spirit breaks out, it won't be able to go anywhere, and then it will eventually dissipate and turn into ambient magical energy. This method should work, however it may need to be repeated several times. Anytime I've dealt with one of these creatures, I've had to create a new circle several times. Once again, this portion of the video is only for educational purposes, not instructional. Do not attempt to deal with these things on your own. Always call a professional such as myself. Thank you for watching. I hope this was an interesting and scary video for all my viewers out there. Have a good night, please like and subscribe, and be careful lest you have any uncanny encounters.